Hi, I'm Lauren Schramm from Commercial Observer. You cannot talk retail without talking brands. So we did just that at Commercial Observer's recent retail forum. Here's what the experts had to say. I think Sephora is doing very well. Starbucks is a company that's figured out how to kind of relate to the millennial generation. And honestly, I go there all the time and it's a consistent quality, A, but I enjoy the stores now. They really up the design and um, the technology is great. I personally don't order my coffee online, but most people I know do and it makes for a much more seamless experience. So I would say they're doing great. I think Nike is doing a good job. I love Gucci right now. They're doing no wrong. Gucci's doing an extraordinary job. Uh, Sweet Green and Sephora and uh, you know, a lot of the up and coming brands, uh, good friends at Warby Parker and Bonobos, those guys are just doing great things and are continuing to expand all over the country. Uh, sweet green. Sweet green. Sweet green. I think there's this really interesting underlying soon to be wave of brands all over the country that have anywhere from two to four locations that are just starting to grow, looking for some funding. I think in the next, you know, five years, we'll see a ton of new brands in this landscape. The recipe for success is uh, to come out of the box strong, get a buzz going, get it going on social media, get, I mean, it's amazing how fast things move. So again, names that we haven't, hadn't even heard of, and then all of a sudden people are talking about it and people are trying it. You're seeing a lot more programming going into stores. So by way of example, you go into Nordstrom via the new men's store here or across the country, and they're really trying to add in a lot more uh, programming elements, whether it's a Toby's Coffee, it's the barber, it's more of the interactivity with the kiosks. I think authenticity, and I think understanding the um, the pattern and, and of consumer behavior. Brands are much better at finding you than they were before. Certainly there's a flight to quality that we see in retailing. Kind of a polarization where you have, you know, things of quality, again, like a pair of $500 sneakers from Balenciaga, or real, you know, cheap stuff like dollar stores. Those things are thriving. But the, you know, to be in the middle is a really hard place to be. I would love to have seen J. Crew survive and thrive. I think that it's unfortunate that they are, you know, struggling because they had hit, had just hit the road running, and I thought that it was going to be a great brand. You know, Sweet Green was seemed to be pretty unstoppable and on fire, and. Um, Probably is still doing really well, but I think that there, you know there's been more competition coming in, um, you know, coming coming into that space as well. And I think the, the there are stressors on the entire food and uh, retail field based on you know increase in the minimum wage and uh, other you know governmental regulations that have been put in place. I mean, just personally, I think uh, the gap is is brand that I don't really understand anymore. You know, I, I don't understand how they, be, you know, how they stay relevant. Definitely not Dunkin' Donuts. I'd probably have Starbucks with me when I arrived on the desert island. So, but, but yeah, I'd get a refill when I got there. I'd go Starbucks. Starbucks. Does the Starbucks have all of its offerings? I think Starbucks. I really do love Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwiches so much. Starbucks, because I'm addicted to Starbucks. Think coffee.